News Talk Radio 610 WIOD presents Rick and Sud. What is that? What are those two? If you want what to talk to these they guys, what do they either listen to real close for the numbers or call information. Now, here's Rick and Suds on News Talk Radio 610 WIOD. When it's time for a salad, nothing beats the convenience of the salad shooter. Just aim and shoot. It's great. Yeah! If you're a leaf-biting, root-sucking veg head. Ooga. But when you've got 40 pounds of ground chuck staring you in the face, you need the big bore power of the meat mortar. New from Kitchen Commando, it's the mother of mother's helpers. The meat mortar is the only dinner delivery system that can fire up to 20 eye of the rounds per second. Just insert your meat. Meat in the hole. Set your gas or electric range finder. Locked and loaded. And your dinner's on target. Incoming. And the meat mortar is just one weapon in our arsenal of mealtime munitions. You can also get the beef bazooka, the lunch meat launcher, and the semi-automatic pork pistol. Real appliances for real people, but only from Kitchen Commando. We're ready to bust your chops. Yeah. It's 8.08, 8 after 8 o'clock. It's Rick and Suds and Marvin. Yes. Good, good morning, Rick and Suds. What are you laughing about, Marvin? <laughs> well, you know, we got a guy here. and he wants Man, we made, we made one call and we got a guy? Yeah. Great. Uh, unbelievable. You've just pulled up in his dump truck. <laughs> uh, well, he's kind of uh, upscale for us. <laughs> yeah. He says, oh, geez, uh, I can just imagine. Uh, I see that car wash sitting behind us. I know I'm going to get clean today. Oh, no, no. Well, maybe, but not in a car wash. No, not at all. All right. Now, is he going to be able to do this? Uh, well, that's what we're trying to find out now. He's trying to radio his boss. Uh, what's the... He has to call you back? Well, does he have, like, a route? He's, he's on the other line now. He's uh, You can punch him up. Oh, okay. Hello? Hey, Rick. What's up? How are you? Great. Now, what do you have to ask your boss? If you can come in an hour late? No, well, actually, I'm on the clock now, and uh, I drive a dump, so I pretty much just got to get a hold of him to clear it that I can, like, lay, put my loads off for about an hour. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but I listen to you guys all the time. I'd love to do something like this. Well, great. Now, <clears throat> what do you, uh, uh, you drive a dump truck, but, you know, from where I'm doing what? Uh, delivering uh, mason stands for stucco work, concrete work, and uh, construction crew. Oh, so it's not garbage. No, not at all. So you guys, you, you have somebody waiting for you for supplies. Uh, well, it's actually sand, but, uh, yeah, sometimes. But I, we might be able to put it off because I'd like to do this. Boy, you talk about a good salesman. You can sell sand in Florida? Gee, <laughs> 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 my knees. That beats that Ice Cube's Eskimo stuff. Got a point there. Yeah. All right. Well, when are we going to know? we got to uh, get five, going with this. Five or ten minutes top. Oh, really? Yeah, exactly. Oh, jeez. Well, wait, can we reach him on the phone? Yes, possibly. Oh, possibly. Yeah, why don't you try to call him, too? Let me go try the radio again right now, right? Hold on, Rick. Yeah. All right. Go over there. Let's, okay, let's I'll, put I'll put him on hold. I'll put him on hold. Marvin? Yeah. It was five or ten minutes. I mean, he sounds like such a great guy. Uh, yeah. I hate to solicit somebody else. And and then what if we wait the five or ten minutes and he can't do it? Well, maybe we could just solicit for a backup, you know. Okay, backup. Kind of a stand yeah. in, you know, maybe. Make make that little beep, beep, beep sound so we know you're a backup. <laughs> um. Yeah, just in case he can't put off his dump for an hour. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> why don't you take the truck, Marvin? Oh, yeah. <laughs> By the way, I heard a lot of, you know, we were talking about the birds and the uh, the little black dot in the center of the, their droppings. Yeah. yeah. And I heard everything from Tina, the evil one in our sales department, to what are you talking about that for? Nobody cares. And right while she's, she's admonishing me for that, Cheryl walks up and says, that's one of the most interesting things I've ever heard. <laughs> it is. <laughs> you know? Well, yeah. She said, I used to have birds. I didn't know that. And then we were talking about how at number three... Yeah. Because that's what they do. I yeah. mean, they, you know, they don't have a one or a two place. They have to three. They put it all together. Well, if you missed it, I guess, the black dot is the uh, the number two part and the, the surrounding. That's well, kind of like uh, an, an egg you wouldn't want to eat. Yeah. A fried exactly. egg. The surrounding oh, right. stuff is oh. the number one stuff. <clears throat> so I just wanted to, re to recap that. There's some just, you know, one person's feast mm -hmm. and others, uh, what, fancy. Feces. Right. Yeah, oh. feces. Yeah. And we were all feces Probably at one time. Remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me? No, I'm telling Jimmy, the... Jimmy's, Jimmy's going to call him on the phone now. All right. To see if we got a backup. Are you our backup? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Are you drunk? No, uh, I'm on my way to work. Oh, no, forget it. <laughs> what? No, okay, no, we got some... Uh, uh, no, Jimmy, hurry up and make that call.
Wow. Well, Marvin, are you hooked on we, phonics? We don't want this backup. <laughs> we don't want this backup. Oh, we don't want that backup? <laughs> no. Tell him to go away. No, he's, he's, a, he's a cool guy, aren't you? <laughs> <He's burning. laughs> you you oh, sound no, like you're in the young, lunch yard and they're ready to beat you up. <laughs> Give me your money. Oh, you're a cool guy, aren't you? <laughs> What's up there? We don't want him around? It's not going through. Why not? What, did disconnect our cell phones again? What's not going through? He's trying to call his boss on the phone instead of on the radio. Yeah. He's not answering on the radio. You got to No, no, hold on here. What's the number, man? Jesus. What's he trying to call on uh, the cell phone? Yeah, he's trying to call on the cell phone. Yeah. And he's in the... Uh, well, see, the we've right already now. wasted our time here. Yeah, I know. You're telling me. Okay. So we're going to still solicit somebody else then? Uh, I think we should. Just in the meantime here, well, I'm on State Road 84 and Weston Road. Okay. At the, at the Shell gas station, Sudson Shell. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're just waiting here. Not anything. Oh, uh, not yet. All right. Oh, he's got right. that. He's got. He's keying in. He's got that key in his mouth. He wants it bad. I know. Oh yeah, he's tasting it. Yeah. Okay, let's take a, an early break. When we come back, we'll regroup. We'll have everything all together for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. We've been saying that for four years. It's 8-12, 12 after 8 o'clock at WIOD. 610 WIOD. Finally, an AM station that doesn't suck. Now, here's Rick and Son. 816, 16 after 8 o'clock. I want to remind you once again, our ski trip has been officially announced. We're going spring skiing March 4th through the 11th. The number is called to call is 484-7800. It's going to be at Snowmass Mountain, one of three mountains in beautiful Aspen, Colorado. So it's 484-7800. And then when you get there, there's one of those little menus, and you'll end up pushing operator because you won't know what the heck you're doing. Mm-hmm. Marvin? Hey, guys. Okay, now what's the word with this guy? All right, well... Jimmy's the man. Jimmy is the man. He tried to get his boss, and I said, Jimmy, we're running out of town. He said, F it, man. Come on, let's go. So I got him in the truck, and we're on our way. Well, he hasn't even accepted the challenge. He didn't know what he's going to be doing. I asked him. I said, do you know what we're doing? No. I said, but do you accept? He says, yes. (laughs) (laughs) Yes! Ahora es tiempo para el Payphone Challenge con Ricky Sot en C10WIOD. Okay, Jimmy, that is your name, right? Yeah. Okay, Jimmy. Um, this is this is one of the stranger ones we've had, and this is really going to put you to the test, but you sound like you can pretty much talk your way into anything. Um, we were sitting around yesterday, and Steve, our associate producer, used to deliver things. And every once in a while, he would have this tremendous urge where, you know, he needed to go to the bathroom and there was no bathroom around. Right. He said he would ask these people, you know, when I, may I use your bathroom? When he was like, he was a UPS guy. Weren't you a UPS guy? Oh, I just made that part up. What were you? Uh, I was an independent company. He was an independent company. And he'd say, can I use your bathroom? And they would just, like, slam the door in his face. Right. Well, we wanted to know how good a salesman was and if he could actually talk his way into a bathroom, but not just into the bathroom, but into actually taking a bath. So what do you say, Jimmy? And actually taking a bath. Actually yeah. going into the bathroom and taking a bath. Uh, I don't know about that there, Rick. You, you think you could just knock on somebody's door and talk? Now, think about this. What could be the possible ploys? How are you dressed? Uh, work pants, uh, a shirt, and... Uh... And you're driving a dump truck? Good luck, pal. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, well... I'm here. Well, what I was thinking, okay, now here, here would be a possible ploy. Uh, I'm applying for a job as a salesperson. I inadvertently told the guy who's hiring that I could talk my way into, into somebody's bathtub. And he said, okay, you do it, and you got the job. I got you. All right, so you, you got a cell phone right there. All you got to do is get into the bath, call that boss, you've got the job. And we'll give you the 125 bucks. Right, no, well, no dickering on price. We'll just do it. We'll even, we even, we'll even give is, your own is, bath supplies. Is, is Marvin going with me? Marvin's not going with shower. you, but, well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> not in the shower. Why? Okay. What? <laughs> you said you would. I don't have to take a bath with Marvin, do I? <laughs> well, I, he said he had a little play toy. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, okay. No, you don't. Well, you don't, Jimmy. You just really all you got to do is get into their bathtub. That's it, and take a bath, and call us from the bathtub, and we'll give you 125 bucks. Can be a sponge bath. Can be you know you don't hardly even have to fill it. Just get naked, get in the tub, and call us. Okay. All right. Can you do that? Uh, I guess I'll uh, take a shot at it. Yes. Once again. <laughs> 
tiempo para el Payphone Challenge con Ricky Sol en C10WIOD. Another one of these dumb deals, but it'll be fun listening to you uh, approach somebody's door and seeing if we can do this. Now, no. as I understand, you're in a fairly upscale neighborhood. Hello? Jimmy? Wait, I'm here. Oh, okay. I understand you're in a fairly upscale neighborhood. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, what do you think of the surroundings? You think you'll be able to get in any of these houses? Uh, well, uh, I guess my chances will be good as here as any other place. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, we didn't want you to get hurt, so we figured we'd take you to a nice place. Okay. Um, you know, most of the places... What's that? I, I think don't know. We I lost... Heard, I heard beeping and then Marvin okay. went away. Hold on, we lost Marvin then. Marvin, they lost you. No, uh... Yeah, we lost Marvin. No, no, tell him I'm on the other line. He's on the other line. On oh, one? On, the other one? There on we that go. one? There we go. Oh, oh okay. Why okay. get mobile here? Oh, okay. All right. Well, well anyway, um, j what I was going to tell you, when you go to these homes, be careful. Usually on, on just like the right side of the door, they've got that alarm panel. Right. If they push those two buttons at once, that's the panic silent alarm. You guys just run. <laughs> yes, we'll run. <laughs> okay? Here, put this on, Jimmy. What's that? A shower cap? <laughs> <laughs> a t-shirt. Oh. All right. Put this on now. Yeah, right now. Just I'll throw it over what you're wearing there. Jeez. And, and you don't want to know what he's wearing. He oh, already God. told us work clothes. Sure. God. And I would imagine if you're driving a dump truck, it's not a tuxedo rental. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, look what, we have. Well, look what we have for you, man. You're going to get nice and cleaned up today. We got some man and tail horse shampoo. Oh, all right. Yeah. And uh, we got some shaving cream. As a matter of fact, you may want to, Jimmy, you may want to offer that as a token of your appreciation to leave behind the horse shampoo. There, uh, repeat that to him because he put the phone down. Okay, uh, I'm ready, Rick. I say good luck. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy's and, putting on the shirt too. All right. And just to keep his company in the Oh, and my plush toy. You got your little... What you, a tush toy? Yes, a plush toy from... Oh, a plush toy. toy. Oh, a yeah. plush oh, toy. Geez. A baby dino roar. <laughs> <laughs> How nice. <laughs> Let me hear it. That's the oh. same sound your dump truck makes backing up. Well, is that a dino roar or what? Okay, that's Marvin, that's uh, pretty weak. <laughs> kind of wimpy. That's a baby. I'm uh, coming with you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, are you Panic. at somebody's house? Yeah, we're yeah. right in front. All right, right now. Front here. Now, give us a description of the neighborhood. This is it's a very high-scale neighborhood. We're yeah. in the western area. Yeah. And uh, we, we don't even want to say what complex we're in, right? No. Well, you're in a complex. Yeah. You're, you're not any place where a mailbox may say Merino. Uh, no, 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 oh, nothing, okay. nothing, like, nothing like that. Yeah, you don't see any big windmills yeah. around, do you? I'll give you $1,000 if you can talk your way into Dan Marino's bathtub, Jimmy. <laughs> Let's find his house. <laughs> it's a figure of speech. I'm broke. Right. I'll bet Dan would do it. That's, a, that's the I'm, point. I'm Just to get on. back at us. Coach Shuley, he'd probably take a bath with him. <laughs> Is this going to cost Rick and Suds a grand? Hey, let me in that tub. <laughs> All right, we're walking up a driveway here. All right. Here, give me this bag. You take that bag. There you now, go. Now, what would you estimate the cost of this particular home? Uh, I would say the area, maybe one hundred thirty, one hundred forty thousand. You're dreaming. No. no? You, you can't get an outhouse in, in Weston for one hundred forty. No, that's just the uh, monthly maintenance fee. Yeah. <laughs> Marvin, you take a guess. <laughs> I'd say, I'd say at least two and a half. At least okay. Two and a half. All right. Yeah, I'm going to go with you. I'm okay. going to go with you. Just Yo, walk, uh, Jimmy? Walk up to the door there. Jimmy? Jimmy, don't, keep, don't take the phone away from your head because he's yeah. talking to you. Jimmy? Now, what do you want me to tell this guy that I'm a salesman? Okay, here's the deal. Now, I, uh, Jimmy? Jimmy? Now, Rick? Yes. What do you want me to tell this guy? Well, that's what I, I want to talk to you, okay? First of all, I realize you're, you're on the spot. You're probably a little nervous. So let's just sit back and, and uh, organize this deal. Okay. When, you know, don't look nervous when she opens the door. Right. All right. Be very matter-of-factly. Tell her it's a strange situation. Right. The scenario I gave, now you may have a better one, but the scenario I gave is I'm applying for a job as a salesperson. I inadvertently said I could talk my way into somebody's bathtub. Okay. Okay. And my boss said, all right, do it. Give me a call. You got the job. Okay. Now, if they're sensitive at all, right. I, that may do it. But again, uh, you know, you, you stick with Marvin. Keep the phone up there so we can hear everything going. I'll be your boss if you want, you okay. know, like you're talking to your yeah. boss. Okay. All right. So I, can put, I can put you on the line then to talk to him to explain the situation then? No. 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 Yeah, that's up to you. Is, yeah. As a matter of fact, you, you know, you kind of really don't want to hear your, your, uh, your boss doesn't really want to hear you uh, not get in. So, yeah. you know. Okay. He's on the phone. Could you please help me out on this? And if that doesn't work, just tell him you're being chased by bees. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, here we go. Right. Here's your little Mickey Mouse towel. Why don't you drape that over here? <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Drape Can I take shoulder? a bath? I'm being chased by bees. Yeah. <laughs> I'd let somebody like that right in. All right, he rang the doorbell. And... All right. Hi, how are you, ma'am? Um, basically, what I'm doing is I'm applying for a job as a salesman, and I have my boss with me, and I basically told him I could talk my way into any door and take a bath, and he said I could have the job on the spot. Now, would that be all right with you? It'll just take a few minutes. Oh, I'll answer that one. No. Well, I, actually, I'm not selling anything yet. I'm trying to get on with this firm. And what they sell are different type of cosmetics and hair care products. And uh, basically... My husband had to work for two and a half years. Okay. We barely make the bills. Okay. Well, thank you very much anyway. Wow. Okay. Jimmy, well, what you Jimmy say? for a first one, that was very good. You yeah, left out a couple a of important job. things. You sounded a little nervous, but for the first one, it was excellent. It was very good. She was, yeah. just, she was just a little upset. Well, Why? What, what was she wrong? Say? Well, her husband worked for Pan Am. Yeah. Oh, well, there you are. Yeah. Crying out loud. Obviously, he's unemployed. Yeah. I bet they got swizzle sticks and those little bags of peanuts all over the house, too. <laughs> Rick, let's try across the street. I see a VW She probably didn't have a bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. The houses there don't come with them. Yeah, exactly. They're taking it away piece by piece. <laughs> kind of like Pan Am's plates used to go. <laughs> what what right. kind of deal is that? Can I take a bath in, at your house? Oh, no, you can't. My husband works for Pan Am. Yeah. Yeah, I, he's been out of work for two years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two years. That's what she said. Now, well, Rick, I guess he's uh, not working well, for yeah, Pan Am. Why, why can't uh, you get a job in two years? Now, Rick, if they want to talk to my boss, do I put you on the phone or not? Uh, I'd r just say I'd rather you didn't. He's on the phone. I can say hello. Uh, I'm only here to monitor his call or his uh, visit, if you like. Okay. Okay. There he's knocking on the door. Mm -hmm. right. Big sign on the window too says, "Beware of dogs." Oh, oh good. <laughs> well, maybe hey, give the dog a bath. <laughs> <laughs> give the dog a bath with uh, yeah. more shampoo. <laughs> yeah. If you can talk her into giving the dog a bath, we'll do the same <laughs> in in her tub. Can I give your dog a bath? I brought shampoo. We're door to door dog baths, people. <laughs> uh, we got no answer here. Yeah. Uh, no, knock one more time. The lights are on in there. Two cars out here in the driveway. Yeah. They're probably just getting up. They're probably just hiding. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it when people come to my door. Fortunately, that never happens. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happening. Uh, no. Nothing happening. All right. Yeah. Steal All the right. cards in. Uh, yeah, yeah, I bet if you, like, started breaking into their house or something, they'd be there. <laughs> Not even a dog bark. Well. Uh-oh. Hey, maybe the dog Look killed them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. It's break time. I kind of figured we were going to run into a couple of these things, so we're still on schedule. Okay. It's break time. Size up the neighborhood. Uh, figure out who you think is home, and then when we come back, we'll tackle this thing. You're almost there, pal. Well, well, we'll just keep knocking until we find somebody. There you yeah. go. Okay. Okay. Hold on, guys, and we'll get back to you. It's 828, 28 after 8 o'clock at WIOD. Now, more of Rick and Sons. Ahora es tiempo para el Payphone Challenge con Ricky Sod en 610 W I O D. 836, 24 in front of 9 o'clock, just to get you up to date. We were talking uh, a couple of days ago about Steve, who used to our associate producer, who used to be a delivery guy, and every once in a while the call of nature would hit, but nobody would let him into the bathroom. You'd think he was like O.J. Simpson or something, and he was in there and just uh, going to hack mm -hmm. everybody. So we thought, well, is there somebody who could actually not only talk their way into the bathroom, but talk their way into the bathtub? And we have, with that in mind this morning, Marvin and Jimmy, the super salesman. Jimmy? Yeah? By the way, we were able to get a hold of your boss. You're fired. <laughs> Everything's okay. Okay. Yeah. All right? So you're all right. But you haven't made any money yet. Now, have you scoped out the neighborhood? Jimmy? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Have, you, have you scoped out the neighborhood? Yes. Are you nervous? No, not at all anymore. Oh, okay. Uh, it's just a weed whacker like three feet away from Oh, me. okay. <laughs> have you come up with any enhancements on that at all? Uh, I'm, I'm running a few ideas through my all head. All right. Well, let's give it a shot. Do you have, you have a place you're going to go? Yeah, right here. All right. Let's do it. He's in a house or a, in a neighborhood in Weston. Uh, nice homes. They, they more look like townhomes, these. Oh, really? Right. Oh, okay. Well, you're probably right, that 13140. I was trying to figure out how somebody could stay in a $250,000 house with a husband who's been unemployed for two years. How would you like that? That's Never mind. Yeah. How would you like that? Well, <laughs> but yeah, but at least you leave once in a while. Yeah, well. He never leaves. <laughs> Jeez, you can't take a bath in here because he won't leave. Hey, how you doing? Good morning to you. 
My name is my name is Jimmy, and uh, I'm applying for a job with a cosmetic hair care firm, sir. And basically, what we want to do is, I told my boss that if I could actually talk my way into somebody's house and use their bathroom and take a shower with this horse hair shampoo, which we'll give you a bottle of, he would give me the job on the spot. And I do have him on the phone at this time. You understand? Ask him if you can come in. Yeah. Not and I'll show you what this hair shampoo looks like, if you'd like. Okay. Tell him it's the new horsehair shampoo. Okay. I'll, I'll it's, come it's, for, for five it's for a job. I mean, it's an entry-level position with a good firm. Ask for five minutes. Tell him it'll take five I minutes. I can't believe you're ready. Uh, station. It's doing that. Right. It's and I need to make sure my dog doesn't come up. Uh... With home invasions being what they are, etc., I mean, I am really surprised that your uh, station would go into something like that. Okay, well... But it's not going to happen. Tell them you've got a gun. You don't have to worry about anybody breaking in. Yeah, if you have a gun, you don't have to worry about anybody breaking in. <laughs> <laughs> Good uh, one, Jimmy. Yeah, he's not going to worry about anybody breaking in. Yeah, 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 we'll move on to the next house now. That was just like a joke, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, there's going to be a lot of this uh, door slam, and I can say. Well, that, you know, our payphone challenges are never easy. Well, in this day and age, who's going to trust the two strange guys in their apartments? And, yeah, that's true. You know, well, the, taking a bath. The answer is... Here we go. Somebody. Nobody. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all, you, all you need is one, Jimmy. All you need is one. Threaten to throw a snake on him. You know, as a matter of fact, do you have uh, more than just a bottle of horsehair shampoo? Uh, yeah, I have my little rubber ducky. Well, no, besides that. <laughs> and I mean, I mean, uh, and I have that, my, that and you I have can my give them. Do you have good news razors? Okay, your good news, oh, you're going right. to shave them? My shaving cream, I'll take a shave. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm saying, you know, here's our line of products that I would be selling, and I'd be glad to offer it to go. you Someone free. Okay, hold on one second. All right. Hold on one second there, boy. He's, he's on the phone. Yeah. How you doing, sir? My name's, my name's Jimmy. And basically what I'm doing is I'm, I'm applying for an entry-level position with a major cosmetic firm, and I told my boss that I'm such a good salesman that I could actually talk my way into somebody's house and get into their shower and take a shower, and he told me he would give me the job on the spot. So what you're here to do is... And one of the main products that we're selling is... Have you ever heard of the new horse hair shampoo that's out? <laughs> I see the T-shirt. Uh, this is actually the manager of the company. Just checking out. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Jimmy, did I hear him mention Hi. WIOD? Yeah, he sees a T-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> you know, any ploy, if you can get into his bathroom at this so point, I don't care. Just minutes and uh, just hey, ask him. He's walked away and he walked away. Jimmy, walk in there, walk in there. Hold on, Rick. Walk I think we might I get wouldn't be doing that. No, I think I we would, might get don't go in. in. No, don't go in. Just stand at the foyer there. That's where he can shoot you. Is he reaching no, for his radio? We're both talking to our boss. And he said I can have the job instantly. Ask him to come inside. If I show him that, that I can actually talk my way into a stranger's apartment and well, take a shower. Well, i tell you what, I'm getting ready to leave for work. I'm not interested in buying anything. If you don't take a shower. Give it to him, so I'll just give this to you. I can you. take a shower, Rick. Pardon me? I can take a shower, Rick. Yes! Yes! Oh, yes! 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 Okay, let's do it. Let's go. And, oh, but I have to use the guest shower, Rick. He's what? In. I have to use the guest shower. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. He's yeah. He's all right. He's all right. Let's go in the shower. Let's We're take in. a shower. Oh, Good man. morning. Oh, boy, his wife doesn't look very thrilled. <laughs> it's a, well, give her, Jimmy, give her the shampoo. And it's a, well, I gave him the shampoo. He said he's not interested in buying anything, but I gave it to him. Well, good. Okay. All right, we're, we're going upstairs to the second floor here. Now, right. when you come out of the shower, I want it's you to a ask... beautiful house. Yeah. Ask him, Jimmy, on the way in. Jimmy? Yeah, I'm here, Rick. Okay. Ask him to look at your hair now and look at it when you come out after using this horsehair shampoo. He may change his mind. Well, that mm -hmm. might be kind of a hard, Rick, considering I'm, like, partially bald, but, uh... <laughs> 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 well, then don't the tell side. him you're a user. <laughs> okay, Rick, hold on. i got to get undressed. i got to put right. the phone Yeah, okay, okay. 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 All right. Oh, jeez. What, hey. are you with him, Marvin? No, well, I'm standing here by the door just making sure that uh, he doesn't drown or anything. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Now, now where yeah. are the people who own the house there? Well, uh, the, the gentleman is standing here in the other yeah. room. He's okay. just got on the phone. He got a phone call, and his wife is down in the kitchen making coffee. Oh, okay. okay. Doesn't look very Ask happy. her if she could bring some up. Yeah. Yeah, hey. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe fry up a little bacon, too, huh? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> why? Your company's calling? Oh. <laughs> what? What? Uh, his, I guess his company, someone from his company is calling, saying, hey... Oh, it's his partner. 
What's the name of your company? Master Take Painting and Water. Master Tech. Painting and Waterproof. And I guess his buddy's on the other line there calling him up saying, hey, are they in your house? Master Tech. Oh, jeez. Oh, Jimmy, close the door. Oh, oh make sure he's standing in his underwear. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, naked. <laughs> naked. Jimmy, talk, talk to him there, pal. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh man. Marvin. Oh, Marvin. I just caught a glimpse. Oh, Marvin. Oh, Marvin. Oh, Which, you know... <laughs> Talk about making a guy feel good. He takes off his pants. You're going, oh, gee, oh, I'm sorry, oh. Oh, my God, I've never seen anything so disgusting in my life. Oh. He is, he's, he's, he's a little heavy, man. The guy's, the guy's like 255. Well, eight. so what? Oh, man, Leave on. him alone. A naked 8 man. Give him a break. Hey, Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing in there? Rick? Yeah. Okay, I'm in the shower, buddy. Excellent. <laughs> I'm soaked up and I'm shaving. Okay. Now, what what kind hold of stuff... On, have... Hold on, let me get my, my rubber ducky. All right. <laughs> okay, we got it. All right, let's hear it. Squeak it. Uh, oh, I hear the shower? I heard it. Yeah. I'm in the shower. I'm in the shower. I hope I don't burn your cell phone out. Oh, that's okay. It's, uh, oh, is that mine? <laughs> Marvin, is that, is that my phone? Marvin? I ain't going in there now. Marvin, you trade phones with him instantly. Okay, hold on for a second, Rick. I got to rinse off. Marvin? <laughs> I think it's two ladies rinsing off. Marvin? <laughs> get my phone back. I'm not walking in get there now. Get my, I don't care what you have to look at. Get my phone back. Jimmy, okay? Jimmy? Oh, sure. Oh, great. No, so he slips and falls and kills himself in the shower. <laughs> yeah, with my phone. <laughs> Jimmy? Jimmy? Yeah, Marvin. Okay. <laughs> How's that phone doing? <laughs> well, I hear the water. The water yeah. turned off. Jimmy, can you hear me? Jimmy, can you hear me? Hey. Go oh, in there with him, Marvin. Oh, man, I had to open the door. Oh, oh, Marvin, geez. just cover your eyes, okay? Oh. And go in there. All right. And get my phone. Now, where are these people? Okay, no, Rick, the I'm guy drying is up standing right here next to me. Okay, what, Jimmy? I say I'm drying up now with my Mickey Mouse towel. All right, now, what? Um... The way Marvin acted, that towel kind of fits other parts you've got. Now, Jimmy, yeah. what is in their shower, just out of curiosity? Do they have other products in there? Uh, yeah, um, you, want, you want me to mention the brand? Yeah. Okay, well, there's some uh, Suave Shampoo. Yeah. Uh, natural Proxy. Oh, man, um, if they use Suave, they need this horsehair stuff. Well, I'm going to give them a bottle. Okay. Okay. And now, what's what's in the medicine cabinet? <laughs> Just walk over there real quick. Hey, hey. we got to get this guy out of here, man. My bathroom's a mess. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing here? Well, let's see. we got some speed sticks, some hydrogen peroxide. Yeah. Uh, some Edge, I believe. Are there any prescriptions? Soothing splash. Any, razors. Any prescriptions? Oh, uh, yeah, just one. What? For what? Uh, Prozac? I think it's Roxaset. I believe that's a derivative of Percodan, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, hey. That's an oh, error. Really? Oh, oh, ow, oh, yeah. ow, oh, oh, we got two oh. things. Ah! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, Jimmy, how'd you know that? <laughs> yeah. Hello? Well, I used to study pharmacology when I was younger. Yeah. Oh, I see. Jimmy, yeah. we all did. Yeah. Yeah. You should know, Rick. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, Jimmy. Hey. Yeah, for Marvin. real, man. Towel off. These, these, they're getting upset yeah, now. Getting yeah, yeah. they got to get out of here. Marvin, Marvin, let yeah. me talk to him. Okay, hold on here. What's your name, Michael? Okay, this is Michael. Hold on. All right. Michael. Hey. How you doing, pal? Good. How are you? In spite of the fact you were tipped off, you're a great sport. We really appreciate it. Uh, no problem. Yeah, you're, you're the best, man. Can we have some of that prescription that's in your... Uh, Bath in your medicine cabinet? Uh, maybe a halfy. Okay, a halfy. <laughs> oh, they call them halfies. Oh, yeah, you ain't splitted any of those babies up, have you? Here, have a halfy. <laughs> now, now, how come your wife is so perturbed? Uh, she's a very beautiful Puerto Rican girl, and she's in her robe. And, and she, oh, I understand. Oh, wow. They don't like anybody to see them in her robe. Right. Has she ever heard this show before? Sure. Oh, okay. So that's why she's really that's angry she, now. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, listen, man. We he really appreciate. looked like he needed a shower. Yeah, and now. he did, and he and he got the money, and <laughs> we got to take a break. But we want to give you the horsehair shampoo and our undying gratitude. You got it. Guys. Okay? You're a good guy, Michael. Yep. Thank we, you. We really appreciate it. You guys, hold on. We'll check back with you in just a minute here. It's eight forty-seven, thirteen in front of nine o'clock at WIOD. Six ten, WIOD.
We don't let music ruin your fun. Now, Rick and Sud. 8.53, 7 in front of 9 o'clock. Let's go back and check in with the guys. You still there? Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> okay. How you doing? Um, soaking wet. <laughs> but, I'm, but I'm clean. They didn't give you much of a chance to towel off? No, no. not really. Are you outside of the house? Uh, yeah, now we are. Yeah, Do you yeah. remember the guy's business? Because, uh, you know, if they're that nice to let you into their house, we got to plug the business. Oh, jeez. Uh, Majestic. Hey, buttload. <laughs> well, no, that wasn't the name of the business. No, <laughs> yeah. Majestic buttload. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't remember. You know what? Let me go knock on his door. Start to trim your hair, sir. Leave them alone. <laughs> We had a guy call in who was his friend, or call him, I guess, and if that guy wants to call in and tell us the business. But they were very nice people, and yeah. we really appreciated it. So, Jimmy. Yes. Third house, pal. You know, when you thought all was lost and it wasn't going to happen, you only took three houses to get there. Hey, there you go. Nice job. Thank you, Rick. Well, listen, you got yourself the $125. You got yourself uh, an hour off of work, which you probably make about $150 there, so you only lost 25 bucks in the deal. Right. And you got a shower, and you've been a great guy, and we really appreciate it. Well, well thanks. So I enjoyed doing the payphone challenge. Congratulations, Marvin. Did you try to say something? No, well, he's got the horse shampoo and his little dino roar. Yeah, fine, Marvin. Acabaron de ir otra estupidez. Otro payphone challenge con Ricky Sod. And say the A, don't let it be. Okay, so it's 8.55, 5 in front of 9 o'clock. We do have horsehair shampoo and some other stuff to give away, and I think we need to have ourselves a contest hour. Oh, man. So let's do that. We haven't had one all week, have we? Don't think so. No, no today, what is Today's Thursday. Thursday we haven't had one all week, have we? No. Okay. Okay, then. It's 8.55. We'll do that between 9 and 10 right here on WIOD. <laughs> Radio 610 WIOD presents Rick and Suds. If you want to talk to these guys, either listen real close for the numbers or call information. Now, here's Rick and Suds on News Talk Radio 610 WIOD. Yoko is proud to present Gilbert's country music favorites. Stand by your man, stand by your man. Shine on me, sunshine, up with me world. It's a zippity doo dot day. I am the happiest girl in the whole USA. You will hear all of your favorite country songs sung by a real cowboy, a musical pioneer, Gilbert. I went down, down, down. The flames went higher that wing of fire, that wing of fire. The tears will flow from your eyes when you hear Gilbert sing country love songs. Baby, baby, don't get hooked on me. Everything is beautiful in its own way. You Pick the fine time to leave me, Lucille, with four hungry children and a crop in the field. Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. Make them be doctors or lawyers or such. Gilbert's Country Music Collection is available right now. The 12 album set or 15 CDs are just $4.99 plus $32 shipping and handling. These records are not available in stores in the United States or any other country for that matter. They've been banned. Order now. We have three operators standing by. Call 1-800-GILBERT-2-STEPS. That's 1-800-GILBERT-2-STEPS. And if you order right now, you'll also receive at no additional cost, Gilbert Yodels. Yodel-A-U. 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 Another quality product from Gilco. Hey, it's 9.08, 8 after 9 o'clock. Payphone challenge went exceedingly well this morning. We want to thank... Uh, Michael, who works for Master Tech Painting and Waterproofing, as we understand it. Once again, uh, if this guy's just nice, you know, let you into a shower, just think of the job they'll do for you. Master Tech Paint, I don't know what that means, but Master Tech Painting and Waterproofing is the uh, company. Mm -hmm. And thank his pal also who listens. Yeah. So it's eight minutes after nine o'clock, and I thought that we would just give away a whole bunch of stuff starting right now. Broward 524 WIOD, Dade 751 WIOD. The Pound line is for Cell 1 customers, Pound IOD. The Star line is for Bell South customers, Star IOD. Of course, those cell lines are both free calls. And 1-800-944-WIOD. Questions will be simple. They'll be quick. If you lose, you're out of there. I thought um, there's, there's a variety of ways we can go. Remember the other day we were, we were playing Beat Suds? With that stick? Yeah, I remember that very well. And you had to answer. Uh, or was that welt? You had to answer before they did, or else they got the prize. Mm -hmm. We have that. Oh yeah. Okay. We have also what night was it on? As far as the TV show, yeah, we also that was have a the, good one. We also have the five second game. 
Name five things in five seconds, so oh, we'll yeah. give you the category. That's a good one. And we also have, uh, what else do we have? I love these games. These are good games. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and we also have just playing Beat Suds. <laughs> now, fun with grapes. Remember when we used to have grape oh, races? Yeah, yeah. Which we could do one of those, too, if somebody wanted to, to do a grape race for us and be the caller. We'd be glad to give them the shampoo just for playing along, and the listeners could bet on the lines. You need four grapes in a microwave and some Pam. We found out that cooking oil was too heavy. The grapes wouldn't slide. Yeah. So you put the grapes in the microwave with their little stem holes. Uh, can I say that? Mm -hmm. Stem. Uh, facing against the wall. And when you turn on the microwave, because the bottom is slick, the floor of your microwave, providing you clean it. You know, if it looks like our microwave, it's not going to work because it'll get stuck on June spaghetti. <laughs> But if it's a clean microwave, they'll just start winging themselves across the floor of your microwave there. And you number the grapes one through four, you got yourself an exciting betting game. Now also, fun with grapes. I told you about this, but I never told you how to do it. Uh, using, uh, it says here, very cheap, readily available equipment. You can create a spectacular light show in the comfort of, comfort of your very own kitchen, providing hours of fun and excitement for your family, friends, and of course, pets. Ordinary grapes, when properly prepared microwaves, spark impressively in an extremely entertaining manner. Huh. I didn't know this. You need green grapes, a microwave-safe plate, a knife, a microwave oven, and nobody home. Oh, that's no good. No parents. Yeah. So you, uh, once you drive your parents away, then you take a grape, you cut it almost in half with a knife, leaving the two halves attached by the skin. You got that? All right. Yeah, you can try this at home. Matter of fact, record this. This will be like one of these little cooking shows. <laughs> so you've got your grapes. You've you've uh, cut it in half, and you've left the two halves attached by the skin. Place the grape sliced side up. Okay, so it would be right. like an open faced grape. Right. On the microwave safe plate, squash them down slightly so the grape halves have a flat bottom and stand upright. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Sure. You know, you cut the grape almost in half. Yeah. Open it up. Right. And lay it down, face up. Yeah. And then just kind of press them down a little bit. Okay. Why would you need to? Because they're not well, going to go know. anywhere anyway. Part All of right. the rules. Then it says, place the plate in the microwave and microwave on high for 30 seconds and enjoy. If microwaving more than one sliced grape at a time, best results can be obtained by separating each grape by 1.5 centimeters or more. Oh, jeez. Oh. So I'm going to have to try that. So you cut a grape in half, split it open like you're butterflying a shrimp. Yeah. And then squish it down just a little bit and just put it on high on a, on a microwave-safe plate, high for 30 seconds, and, and you've got a light show. And you get some sparks. Yeah. Well, but what about the light in the microwave? Break it. Uh, exactly what I was thinking. Okay. Yeah. Let's go to uh, Mobile on 95. Good morning. Hey, good morning. How good morning. are you? Great. What's up? Well, you want to play the contest? Yeah, I sure do. All right. You want to play Beat Suds or you want to just answer questions on your own accord? Um, pretty tough to beat Suds. He's, he's a pretty intelligent guy. Yeah. He is yeah. an intelligent guy, but it, it happened. It, it, it oh, it did happened, happen, huh? yeah. Yeah. But we have so many games for you to pick from, so. Yeah. Here's one. Are you a motorhead? What's the motorhead? Okay, okay, then let me move on to the next one. <laughs> um, a motorhead? Yeah, yeah you know, like motorhead. heavily into cars. The guy who's stuff. into cars, who knows makes, models, engines, horsepower, no, no, things like that. Yeah. Motorcycles, yeah. Not sizes. Yeah. Mo cars, no. Motorcycles? Yeah. What kind of motorcycles? Uh, sport bikes. What kind of sport bikes? Anything. Well, there's, you know, as some guys would say, there is not anything other than like a Harley. Would you say that? No, I'd, I'm, I'm talking about the, the rice burners. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's see here. All right, then. How old are you? Uh, 37. Well, we certainly, I, I feel like I'm questioning the OJ jury. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What, uh, let me see here. Fall TV seasons. Let's do shows Don't watch tonight. TV. What? Don't watch TV. Don't watch TV. Well, you're an awfully yeah. picky how about, guy. How about, uh, Okay, in five, in five seconds, give me five other words for the word big. Go. Large, grande, huge, uh, enormous. And, uh, and a balloon. balloon. Well, balloon. <laughs> well, balloony. Yeah, balloon. Sure. You know, big one. Yeah. yeah, but you got it after the buzzer, pal. Had yeah. you not been so picky, we may have been a little more lenient. Yeah. Let's go to Miami. <laughs> Hello. Hey, sparking great butler. Hey, well, back, back at, at you. you. Now, did you follow that? I want somebody to try that while we're on the air. Mmm. I can't find any grapes. 
<laughs> okay, then. How about a large ripe melon? It seems like it would be the same consistency. You know, it, it must spark. It must be like when it burns the sugar, don't you think? Sounds that could very well be. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, so what makes certs in your breath in your mouth spark? Same thing. No, wrong. Redson. Yeah, it's that golden drop of Redson. Oh. <laughs> what do you mean, same thing? Well, it's the same thing. Like uh, lifesavers, uh, peppermint lifesavers. You yeah. can do that. You bite on them and they bite spark. Bite on them, and yeah. But it's not sugar. Yeah, it's the sugar. No. Yeah, it is. The sugar heats and sparks? It combusts. So if you had, a, like, an engine, yeah, and you just didn't take out the spark plug, and if you could get a bunch of certs and chew real fast, like 6,000 times a minute. Yep, it would work. You could be your own spark plug. Yes. Wow. I've had to do that. Okay, sir, would you try that since you don't have a grape? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Well, last time I tried that, I tried that with some little squirrels in the engine of my car, but I didn't go very far. Oh. Okay, you hold on, and we're going to call the police. It's 9.15, 15, 15 <laughs> after 9 o'clock at WIOD. So what we need are two people with lousy cars. Two people to call in with cars that just, uh, they don't think that they'll make it through the day. Or Let me get to a phone, all right? Yeah, or reasonable proximities. No, ringers, yours are... <laughs> Listen, you know what they told me the last time? This, I'm not making this up. The last time I, I had my oil changed, yeah. the guy, I'm paying, and the guy comes in and says... You know, uh, the next time you have your oil change, you should take it to a full-service uh, gas station. Oh, why? Well, he says your oil's been changed so many times that the uh, plug yeah. that screws into the oil pan yeah. there, uh, apparently the uh, thread threads have got softened. They've softened? That's why he said they softened, and, and, uh, and it needs to be retapped because it's been <laughs> open and closed so many really? times. Really? <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, well, that's a testimonial to you. Well, I guess, but now i got to go do that. Well, uh, here's the deal. Go to... Uh, is Jiffy Lube a sponsor of ours? I don't know. Well, anyway, I know they have this at Jiffy Lube. Maybe they have it at other places. It's an oil plug mm -hmm. that they put in. It's like 8 bucks, I think, yeah. something like that. And then they evacuate the oil when you come in for a change without removing the plug. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a little hookup. It's a plug with like a little uh, hole in it. Hole that in? They have a special thing that hooks up to it. And, and instead of relying on all of your oil to drain out, it sucks it out. Wow. So it get, a... Yeah, it gets out more. It gets out better. It gets out sure. shavings and stuff that are like laying on the bottom. Okay. So there you go. So let's get to, let's see, line two. This is Miami. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, Good morning. Sir. How are you? Just fine. How are you? I feel like I was in a uh, an episode from the Twilight Zone with these grapes. Did it work? Oh, yes. Did it really? Without Without turning off the light. You can uh, still you can, see it, huh? It looks like the two halves weld each other together. Now, did it spark from side to side, or did it each side just kind of spark? All along where you the did not tower. cut the skin. Oh, yeah. All along where you did not cut the skin? Yep. In other words, between the two halves where they're still connected. Yeah. yeah. It's and, and it was arcing? Oh, yes. So if you had like eight or ten of them, you could do quite the light show? Oh, you'd be able to light up the whole kitchen. Really? <laughs> so it was an experiment with, worthwhile. Now, do you have kids? Oh, yes. Well, don't tell him about it. I certainly won't. Okay. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Let's go hmm. back to our guy we put on hold. Is this you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Had okay. a few drinks in the meantime. And... <laughs> oh. All right. You don't sound like you've got too much brain power going this morning, so I'll ask you a simple question. How's that? Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. And by the way, <laughs> we're looking for two people who have bad cars. Two people. We got one, right? Oh, we got two already. All oh, right. Okay. We'll, we'll do that in just a second for a AAA membership. You got to change the oil in a car? Maybe you want to hang on the line. <laughs> <laughs> okay, answer me. You know, I have all of these. Answer me this. Now, Sad, you'll have to tell me. I've had this question for a while. I don't even know if it's still factual. Former designing women star Delta Burke begins filming a new sitcom for CBS. Yes. That's correct? Yes. Okay. In which she plays a member of Commerce. Congress. Congress, excuse me. So it is factual. Okay. The new show is called A, Women of the House. B, women in the house, or C, women as big as the house. <laughs> <laughs> All of the above. Come on, give me an answer. Uh, I'd say um, A. All right. You got your horsehair shampoo. Now you got to come and pick it up. <laughs> I thought it was the last one myself. Okay, let's go to... 
Margate, hello. Hey, Butlow's guys. How, How you doing, pal? All right, I got a real lousy car. Do you? All right, let's. Um, uh, Steve, you help me out because I'm going to put two people on hold here, and if it gets out of control, you just dump the whole thing. Get out the emergency, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> All right, just, I'm sorry, and just spill it. He hates it when I do that. <laughs> okay, let's also get Miami here on the line. Hello. Hello. How you doing? All right. Got yourself? a bad car? Seventy-seven Ford Maverick. Say no oh, more. Boy. Okay, right. and the first caller? Uh, an eighty Cutlass. Uh, Century. Whatever. Who's so far, the... Century, yeah, I'll be okay. Yeah, it's U.S. Century, yeah. <laughs> is that how old it is? 1980, yeah. Oh, I thought you said Century. No, well, okay. close. All right, Line 4 has the 80 Century. Remember, sir, you're on Line 4. Okay. Okay, what is your name? Doug. All right, Doug, and Line 3 with the Maverick. Warren. All right, Warren. All right, we're going to play Bad Car Ping Pong. What, what year was the Maverick again? 77. 77. Right. Okay, Bad Car Ping Pong. Now, the way this goes is you each come up with a problem that your car has. And the first guy that takes more than, like, three seconds to come up with a problem loses, and the other guy gets it. You got that? Sure. All right, so it's like a problem off. <laughs> okay. Who wants to go first? I don't care. I'll go first. Uh, Line who, four. Who, who's I don't care? Is that Doug? Line four. Line, okay, that's Doug. Yes. Yeah. All right, Doug, go. Okay, oil gasket. Transmission. Now, wait, you give him some time to get it out there, Warren, okay? He said, he said oil gasket what? The oil gasket is blown. Okay. Be more specific than just transmission, because you can just go through name and parts. Transmission squeaks. Okay. Doug? Uh, axle. Right axle. What's wrong with it? It's about to break. Warren? Air conditioning. None. Doug? <laughs> Left rear shock out. Warren? Heater. Leaking water into car. Oh, geez. wow. On Rust, floor. Rusty water. Doug. Radiator doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Warren. Radiator leaks big time. Doug. <laughs> Leaking big time doesn't compare to no water going through at all. <laughs> well, Doug, you can't run it if it's got no water at all. Oh, i got to keep putting water in it. Time. Oh, okay. And it just burns out. Yeah, hey, Warren's calling time on you, Doug. Come on. New uh, problem. The roof inside is falling down. Doug, uh, Warren. Same problem. Head Doug. Yeah. I don't know. Can we go with same? Okay. Yeah. I got taillights out. Okay. Doug. Headlight out. Warren. Ooh, tough one. Oil leak. Doug. Out of the head. What? Uh, okay, out of the head. Doug. Transmission slips. Warren. That's a repeat, right? <laughs> no, I don't Flat think you... tire. What? Flat tire. Spare. <laughs> <laughs> Doug. No jack. <laughs> Warren. No jack or crowbar or a wrench, ratchet, whatever it takes off the lug nuts. Yeah. Doug. No uh, key to unlock my hubcaps. Warren. No key for the trunk. Doug. No key for the ignition. Warren. No key for the door or windows. Who <laughs> has window keys? Doug. Uh, plastic bags over the window. Warren. No backlights. Doug. Cracked windshield. Warren. Cracked radiator. I uh, already did that. Yeah, I tried. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, you did a good job. Nice, yeah. But guess what? Doug? Doug? Uh, Doug? Uh. I put them both on hold. Doug? Hold on. Uh. Warren? Yeah. Oh, sure, you hung on. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I went by default. <laughs> well, is that the... Hold on here. We, we have to take a break. We'll figure it out. Is he back? Hello. Doug. Yeah. What happened to you? I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. You're the winner, pal. Oh, great. Thanks. Congratulations. Thanks. Well, I don't know if that's in order. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> Listen, the people at AAA, once you get the membership, would appreciate it if you didn't use it. Okay. Okay. Hold <laughs> on, pal. <laughs> nice job. use it every hour. <laughs> <laughs> 9 28, 28 after 9 o'clock. That was a good one. <laughs> at WIOD, yeah, you know, I'm starting to creak. Are you really? Yeah. Yeah. I'm starting to creak just like, uh... Yeah? Just like, what What happened? You know... What'd you lose, man? Things yeah, just You know, get every day at about this time you lose. I know. I just start losing stuff. It's sure. because we have morning show backup, and then things fall between the cracks. You know how that is. Well... So we'll come back and we'll do this. Is that okay, Steve? Obviously it is. We have to. It's 928. 
It's 929. I want to tell you about Tony Bennett, and i got to hurry because Tony doesn't have too much time left. Tony Bennett's Word Perfect Tour, presented by Word Perfect Main Street, is coming to the Jackie Gleason Theater on Thursday, September 29th. One of the great artists of our time is Tony Bennett, who has spent 40 years at the top of the charts. Now, Word Perfect Main Street is very proud uh, to bring you Tony Bennett and give you an opportunity to see Tony Bennett live in concert. You could win prime ticket VIP concert packages, which include not only tickets to the show, but passes to a party to meet and be photographed with Tiny. Ti Tony. <laughs> Tiny Bennett is the, <laughs> that's the circus guy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, you know, when you're photographed with Tony, you never have to say, hey, old still. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's more ticket packages to be won, plus lots of other great prizes. <laughs> Just stop by your participating retailer and look for the Word Perfect Main Street display. Mail your entry to Tony Bennett, Word Perfect Tour, Post Office Box 41474. That's Miami 33141. Remember, it's Tony Bennett, Word Perfect Tour. And remember, the post office box is his age, 41,474. <laughs> 41474, Miami 33141. No purchase necessary. Complete rules are available at entry locations. Yeah, now, more of Rick and Suds. 937, 23 in front of 10 o'clock. Now, we've got room for six more callers. In date at 751-WIOD. In Broward, it's 524-WIOD. And the star line is open. Bell South Mobility customers free call by dialing star IOD. And we'll see if we can run through uh, a bunch of these things and give away a bunch of... It's not just horsehair shampoo. Horsehair shampoo... Mm -hmm. Which is, it's called a queen, I think? Uh, I'm not sure. Is that, it's E-Q-U-I-N-N-E. -N -N -E. oh, equine. 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 Oh, that's right, a queen, I'm sorry. Yeah. Don't forget, Neil coming up at 10 o'clock. Um, <laughs> we also have sham, uh, conditioner. Yeah. We also have... Two kinds of conditioners. Sometimes. Yes. Cream rinse and leave-in. And leave-in, right. That's yeah. it. And for those lazy guys. And... Hoof stuff. Yes, thank Hoof you very cream. much. Hoof yeah. cream. Is that, it's know. supposed to be really good for your nails and stuff. Mm -hmm. Besides, Baba Sonics. What's that? Uh, that's whoever this is. Okay, anyway. Well, it opened up with just a shot of a big butt on TV. Yeah. Okay, so any, that's uh, the deal, and people are calling in, and we'll go ahead and play. Let's go to Boynton. Hello. Hey. 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 What's going on, guys? You tell us. Well, I'm listening to Howard on the radio, and I'm talking to you on the phone. <laughs> I don't get this Howard... Show. I mean, yeah. I everybody like put a well. You know, door. welcome to the club. Did you ever listen to this guy? Yeah, of course. Oh, okay. I listened to him far before he got here. I used to have him on a satellite, and I, you know, I wanted to tune in and see what the big deal was before he even announced he was coming out here a couple of months ago. And I would tune in for a little while and uh, try and figure it out, and then go away, and then tune in. And pretty soon, I kept forgetting yeah. to tune in. Pretty soon, we just uh, changed the satellite to that Arabic top forty station, yeah. and that's funny. I, I don't, but the problem is I don't see what's funny about the show. Okay, well then, glad you could join us. Oh, how you doing? <laughs> I got a question for you, Rick. All right. Wait a minute, no, we do the questions. <laughs> oh. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, but you, Suds so can't help you because I know we probably know the answer. All right. You got to tell me what it means to watch your P's and Q's. Where did it come from? What's the origin? Oh, man. It, uh, I know, P's and Q's, now this is what goes back to the said old... I uh, had to answer, but that's okay, because oh, I... Oh, oh, I'm sorry. No, that's all right. Such has a hearing problem, in this case, it's to my benefit. Go oh, ahead, Such. This is what I would have said, sir. Okay. It goes back to the uh, days of the old typesetting in newspapers. Right. The P's and the Q's. Now, if you got the Q in upside down, it looked like a P, and vice versa with the Q. Absolutely, so, positively wrong. But, Suds, I know you know this. because That's, that's not what I would have said. What would you have said, Rick? I don't know. What is it? I'll tell you in a minute. If you were at the bar yeah. and drinking beer, yeah. it would be watch your pints and quarts. You would keep a record of how many pints and quarts you drank, and then you would tell the barkeep at the end of the night how many P's and Q's you had, and he'd tell you how much you owed. I like that one better. I like yeah. that one better, too. Sud sounds more official, but yours sounds more fun. My wine was... Smack. And after a while, the peas look like cues. Absolutely. Yeah, if you drink enough. <laughs> okay. Well, then you're the perfect guy for this question. Okay. Kinsey has, you know, the Kinsey people, the sex people? Yeah. They did a sex survey, just came out. People all over the country surveyed about a wide range of sex topics. One question asked was, what do you say to your partner just before making love? The number one answer was, do you have protection? B, will you turn out the lights? Or C, will I get to see the rest of the White House after this? <laughs> B. Oh, no, I can't believe it. <laughs> Suicide's my only option. 
it. Okay, see you later. <laughs> Uh, the answer was uh, answer was C. Yeah. Well, of course. Yeah. Let, what? No, the number one answer was A, and the number two answer uh, was C. Mm. I was. Do you have protection? Yeah, I got a gun right here. Yeah. So you know, I have a visa. Let's go to now. We have plenty of lines. Once again, we just knocked off a bunch of people. It's really interesting how you can disqual or get rid of one person, and about five people fall off yeah. with them. So we have open lines again now. Dade, 751-WIOD, Broward, 524-9463. These are not hard questions. Let's try Davey. Hello. I mean, we can make them hard. Davey, good morning. Oh, this has to be the best phone in the world. Yeah. We can't hear you at all. Really? No. You you must be on a pay phone. Oh, but of course. And you've waited all of this time. Of course. I'll tell you what. We'll give you some horsehair shampoo. Can we hear him? Yeah. Okay, well, that, that's, that's pretty good. All right. I was going to say, you can use it to wash out the mouthpiece. <laughs> okay. Here's Don't your, ever use this phone again. Really? Yeah. No. Matter of fact, just rip it off the wall before you leave so nobody does. Well, I'm parked right next to it, so I can do that. Well, run it over with your car, then. <laughs> no problem. Okay. Yeah. Recently, you probably remember, CEO of Disney, Michael Eisner, underwent emergency quadruple bypass operation. Right. Did you hear about that? Yeah. Okay, well, nobody believed this. Why? Because A, he appeared to be in perfect health. B, he had lived a very healthy lifestyle. Or C, they weren't aware he had an actual heart. <laughs> uh, B. Oh, answer C, will you? C. Thank you. <laughs> Hold on. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't aware he had an actual heart. Okay, it's 942-18. They, they did, though. They used tweezers. 18 in front of 10 o'clock at WIOD. We'll play um, more of this stuff and give away some more things, so just hang on, folks. By the way, I just want to say uh, briefly, I, I love Disney. I just don't want to be caught up in this Eisner bashing. I love that man. Yeah, Ladies and gentlemen, you're actually listening to a radio prostitute. 610 WIOD. Keep it here until we play a song you don't like. Now, Rick and Sud. 946, 14 in front of 10 o'clock. An open line in date is 751 WIOD. One in Broward, 524 WIOD. Miami, good morning. Hey. Hey. This is the human computer speaking. I know all. I see all. Hit me with your best shot. All mm-hmm. right, pal. This is you're the guy I've been waiting for. Uh, so much so that I lost my material. Oh, no. Okay, here we go. I think we left off with, and this surprised me, the, la- the guy who uh, identified what model year did Volkswagen offer its first diesel-powered cars. So let's go with question number 10. Uh, motorhead by any chance? Oh, you're Mr. Computer. You're everything. No, I... What, I, Ford, what Ford engine <laughs> <laughs> powered the first 75 produced Shelby Cobras? Okay, what... what? What size? Yes. Cubic inches? Yes. 351 Cleveland. What was it? Uh, it... Well, you were called... It was a Toledo. <laughs> yeah. No, I just... Should I answer it? I guess we have to give the correct answer. Yeah. Please. Move on to another question. Okay, well, I suggest that you... Uh, a little, couple more megs of uh, memory for you, pal. Silicon is the answer. It was... <laughs> it was a 260. Uh, really? That's small. Well, yeah, they were the first ones that came out were uh, 63, 64, oh. and then they went to a 289, and then they said, hey, bigger is better, and went to a 427. But you know, my Never hair... a 351 Cleveland. Those were in the Panteras. My hair is really dirty, though. Computers don't have hair. Let's this was go... in 75? Uh, no, 60. Oh, I thought 60. you said 75. 63 or 64. I said oh. the question was... What Ford 75. engine powered the first 75 produced Shelby Cobras? Oh, I see. The first 75. You just heard the number cars. 75, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and they were, uh, it was a first, see, uh, for those of you who are into cars, it used to be fast engines, <clears throat> one on the, on the straightaways, small engines, light cars, one on the corners. They had never figured out how to make a car that could corner and mm-hmm. still have the power down the straightaway till the Cobra came along. Stuck a big old heavy engine in it, but still a well-handling car so they could beat guys down the straightaway and go into the corners and still compete with the sports cars. My gosh. Let's go to... And now they're in cabs around the world. What are? Those engines. No, they're not. Yeah. See, don't, now this is my discussion. I don't end up with Star Trek stri- trivia that I just make up that I don't know about. 
However, it was the same engine that powered the first Enterprise. Let's go to uh, Mobile. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Nice to hear a female voice. How are you? Very good. How are you all? Good. Good. Let me see. What kind of contest? Are you a perhaps geography person? Oh, uh, sure. Well, I got something better for you. Okay, good. This, this will be fun to hear a, a lady do. Okay. In five seconds, yeah. give us five sounds that are made by one of those cars that those guys described, one of those clunker cars. You ready? Yeah. Go. Boom, chang. Um... You could have just quoted uh, one of those uh, Sly... Who did that song? Not Sly Stallone. Oh, boom, chakalaka, Yeah, just go boom, chakalaka, boom, chakalaka, <laughs> boom, boom, boom. What happened my geography question? <laughs> well, that's kind of what you wanted, huh? Yeah, I, I picked it. All right, we'll do another five-second deal. Okay. Five seconds, five state capitals. Go. Tallahassee, Atlanta, um, Albany, uh, Biloxi, and Reno. <laughs> Well, right on the button. Okay. Um, is Reno the capital of Nevada? Yes, it is. Yes. Okay. Uh, we're going to give it to you. We put you through this twice. You deserve something. Thank you. Thanks uh, a lot. You did really good. Hold on. Thanks. Okay. You know, you they're it. always doing that on Jeopardy, too. What? You know? Oh, geez. Well, you were pretty close. <laughs> ah, go ahead. You got it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, here's your million dollars. Yeah, that's Jeopardy light that I watch. Let's, <laughs> let's go to Fort Lauderdale. Hello. Yeah, hey, listen. I'm going to ask you a question. All right. All right. Uh, where did that term from uh, getting the sack means getting fired? Where did that come from? Um, getting sacked? You said getting, getting the, sack the, sack. the sack. Means you're fired. Getting the sack means you're fired. Mm. Probably uh, in the days when they used to, the mafia used to fire guys, they would put them in one and <laughs> drop them in the river. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That's a good, a good way to find out, figure out you're fired. No. Suds? I. Don't recall. Well, I, I did read it once, and I just don't remember. What do we win? Yeah. Yeah, we didn't know. What did we win? Okay. Well, no, I, I want to know before I come up with the right answer what we win. Uh, advice. That's why we gave you the wrong answer. <laughs> we don't want any advice. <laughs> okay. What do you got? What's the answer? Mechanics and other workmen used to bring their own tools to the job. Yeah. When a workman was let go, he was given his final paycheck and a sack for his tools. Oh. Ah. So they brought their own tools, kept them in the company's toolbox. Whatever. Well, they'd have to. Yeah. <laughs> Unless they stole your toolbox from you. That's how they let you know. Yeah. Well, Gave you a sack. All right. Well, thanks a lot. You don't get anything. Oh, buttload. Uh, except for, you know, uh, uh, no, you're right. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> oh, he wanted to give us advice. Screw him. Let's go to Fort Lauderdale. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello sir. Morning. How are you? I'm pretty good. Good. I'm just calling to say thank you. You're quite welcome. Thank you. Okay. You, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I was going to hang up on you right there. I know, there. I know you were. I was going to hang up on you, too. Okay. Uh, what did I win? I won... I got some of those island gift certificates. How is that place? It was very good. Was it? The service... I actually called the manager over and commended uh, my waitress on what good service she gave. Well, good for you. And it was Why? Like, was she wearing, like, a low-cut top or something? No, not at all. Oh, really? Just very friendly and... Well, you know, there's one... Which one did you go to? Coral Springs. Because I couldn't even remember. We did advertising for them, and I apologize. I wanted to go there, yeah. and I couldn't remember what it was. And I knew it had an island theme, but I forgot it was called Islands. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Oops. You, you hear me. You understand why these things happen. Yeah. Well, thanks. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It was funny, too, because when I got the certificate, I got ten five dollars certificates. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, well, what the hell is this all about? It's supposed and to be 50 bucks worth. It, it's so cheap. We went twice. We got a dinner and a lunch out of it. Well, good. Very expensive. And just... You and somebody else, or you and a uh, gang? No, it took my first one, my wife and our kid and our neighbor. You took your first wife, you said? First wife, my girlfriend, and my neighbor. Yeah. All right. And second one, <laughs> just me and the wife. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks a lot. Glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, I have to go there. Let's go to Miami. Hello. Uh, good morning. Hello, sir. How you guys doing? Good. Pretty good. Uh, I just wanted to say those payphone challenges, man, they really cracked me up. That that one you guys had a couple weeks ago with in the bathroom with the guy... Where's, or how's the bowl or whatever? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, enjoy your bowl there. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's what it was. Yeah. Oh, man, everybody. I thought that. today for sure this guy wouldn't be able to do it. Uh, that was incredible. I don't know yeah. how you get inside yeah. these people's houses. You know how he goes and he takes a shower in a house in Weston. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, can I take a shower here? Sure. Good. 
Howard Stern doesn't stand a chance yet. Uh, I want to play. Well, <laughs> oh, it's Mr. Subliminal. That was nice, sir. <laughs> okay, let's see here. You ready? Five seconds for five things? I guess so. Okay. <clears throat> Something easy now. All right. Five people larger than David Crosby. Oh, my goodness. Well, Dave Gaines, right? Okay. Rose he counts Ann. for two. Three. Uh, Babe Ruth. He may be, but your five seconds is up. Okay. Thanks for calling. Let's go. Oh, you name five people larger than Dave. Boy, I don't, I don't, I don't know if that's I mean, possible. David Crosby. Yeah. Jupiter. Yeah. Oh, no, that's <laughs> I know. That's what I was yeah. thinking. Things, maybe, but people. Yeah. <laughs> African animals. Nah. Nah. You no, stick no up. way. Planets and continents. Yeah. <laughs> Dave, you never, you know, monkey on his back, nothing, yeah. you know. Oh, I got an elephant on my back. Well, you know, he might notice it. Maybe not. <laughs> Would you, could you put off, you know, thoughts like this I for got about a 10 minutes? on my back. Would you mind oh, just man. putting them off for just 10 sure. minutes or so? Yeah. Okay, that way we'll All be safely right. in the hall. It's 9.55, 5 in front of 10 o'clock. <laughs> The opinions expressed by the host, guests, or callers on the Rick and Sud Show are not necessarily those of this station or its sponsors.